First at five, a new deputy unit is now out on the streets of Hillsborough County. The sheriff announcing today a specialized unit trained to interact with those struggling with mental health. ABC Action News reporter Isabel Rosales explains what this unit means when it comes to cracking down on crime and the criticism from the sheriff's challenger. You're looking at HCSO's newest unit. I'm pleased to share that we've created a behavioral resources unit. The agency says between 2018 and now, there have been more than 10,000 Baker Acts in the county. The law allows professionals like law enforcement to hold someone for an involuntary mental health examination. Chronister touts his unit will seek out people like this man outside of the scope of a crisis or arrest to talk to them about resources for shelter, food and counseling. It's not a reactive unit. This unit is going to be uh, extremely proactive and preventative. Clara Reynolds with the Crisis Center of Tampa Bay. We're under a behavioral health tsunami at this point. Says similar programs are popping up all over the U.S. I do believe that this will help to reduce crime and more importantly, get folks the help and support that they need. Gary Pruitt, Chronister's challenger for sheriff, doesn't agree. In a statement, he says unsolicited home visits puts everyone at risk. I'm gonna put you in handcuffs for now. This month, okay. a man in the process of getting Baker acted stabbed a deputy in the neck. I think you're gonna see this more and more across the country. These violent interactions with law enforcement can be prevented. Chronister says it's thanks to the deputy's mandated crisis intervention training, he was able to remain cool and in control. I asked the sheriff, how often will they seek out these people? And what if they don't wanna talk? These are voluntary services. If we make contact with an individual and they say they don't want the help, well, obviously that's the first and biggest obstacle that we face. Then we'll leave and scratch them off the list. In Hillsborough County, Isabel Rosales, ABC Action News.